It is the 17th of the 2nd, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Well, let's go get started on Sot.net tonight. Ukraine's death toll from cold spell reaches 151. Kiev health officials say 151 people have died in the Ukraine during Eastern Europe's record-breaking cold spell, with alcohology regularly a contributing factor to the hyperthermia. Uh, the health ministry said the Thursday that nearly 4,000 others <clears throat> have been hospitalized with hypothermia and frostbite. Aurora Whirlpool. Sometimes the sky surprises us. On February 14th and 15th, with little warning, geomagnetic activity rippled around the Arctic Circle, producing an outbreak of auroras that veteran observers said was among the best in months. At the height of its display, the U.S. Defense Meteorological Program satellite photographed a whirlpool of northern lights just north of the Bering Sea. And you got to remember, this is when um, the shields went down, and uh, we had a hole in our magnetic sphere, and uh, we had a, these unusual aurora borealis going on. And that's about all new they have going on tonight. Over to El Hierro Volcano in the Canary Islands, we have just seen burning lava balloons on the eruption webcam. Upper left part of the screen, they must be rather big as they burn for several seconds. Hopefully it will be rep repeated for people who start to look now. And uh, that eruption is getting more intensified and it's, uh, it's about ready to break onto the surface kind of thing going on. And uh, we've all been paying attention to this for uh, quite a little bit. Over to the Ice Age now. Euro European death toll top 650. Farmers concerned about their animals. Romanian farmers faced with up to 15 feet of snow in some areas this week are concerned about their sheep, goats, horses, and cows, obviously. Italy, 1.5 billion in damage from ice and snow. Still an emergency with dozens of countries from uh, covered by meters of snow. Record cold summer in Sydney, Australia. Not just the day, not just the month, but the entire summer. And they're having a lot of rains and flooding going on down there. Macedonia declares the energy crisis to prevent collapse of energy system. And temperatures in Macedonia dropped to a record low. People are freezing to death, and I reported on that last night. Over to the RSOE. Uh, what else is going on? Flash flooding in Australia in the state of Victoria, the Melbourne region. Um, torrential downpours of rains, and of course the rivers are overflowing. Uh, crop damage and that kind of thing. Uh, another big cold wave in Russia. Um, the Sea of Azov. Flash flooding in Peru, again, uh, more torrential rains, um, crop damage, they've declared a state of emergency there as well. And the other one was <clears throat> uh, the avalanches in India, uh, in the upper Himalayas, uh, snowfell avalanches, burying villages, that kind of thing, and uh, heavy rainfall producing landslides. That's about all climate change I have for you tonight. Let's go over, go ahead into the nuclear stuff. Three quakes in Fukushima over four hours. Um, and just to goes to show that that whole region is, continues to be unstable. Uh, has been since time began, I'm sure. New docs show in iodine-131 contamination was 350% of highest re amount reported. 54,100 becquerels per kilogram in spinach 100 kilometers away from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. And uh, these products are making it to market. Pro surfers fight nuke plant near world's best point break. And they have a short film on that. The temperature drops 2 degrees Celsius from 220 degrees Celsius at reactor number 2. Only since the decrease is gauge failure indicated on TEPCO data. So uh, are they they reporting the decrease and then, hey, it's a gauge failure, so don't worry about it, anybody. Uh, areas with 10,000 becquerels of radioactivity considered highly contaminated by study over 30,000 square kilometers in Japan exceed level 
8% of the nation is technically unlivable and should be evacuated. They have millions of people living in these areas. Mystery Black Substance has 1 million Becquerels per kilogram of cesium seen all over Miani Soma. Officials meeting to discuss the findings. TEPCO no longer monitoring thermometer. Temperature remains steady around 220 degrees Celsius. They will stop added water injections if government says it's reasonable. And uh, that's about all new they have tonight. There's a couple stories I wanted to get over to uh, Fukushima Diary. <clears throat> uh, its official safety limit of infant food and milk will be raised to 100 becquerels per kilogram. They just doubled it from 50. Uh, the insanity continues, and, and studies upon studies have shown that this is not a safe level. It's, it's actually um, pretty suicidal. Uh, the MHLW manipulated the new safety food bill limit. Uh, following up this article, Japanese government is going to raise the safety limit for infant. The report turned out to have been manipulated. Uh, debris from North Japan is only 1.13 times as much as the Great Henshin earthquake. And they're saying um, the debris they have to deal with in Japan isn't quite as bad as they had feared because most of it got swept out into the Pacific Ocean is about ready to get washed ashore along the Pacific coast of uh, the North America. And that's about all I'm going to send out for you tonight. Uh, if I missed anything, of course, uh, leave your comments or attach your videos. Uh, thanks for your support. Enjoy what you can, everybody.